And we have new numbers in from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that show the city is seeing more guns stolen from unlocked cars. News for Jackson reporter Zach Lajway joins us live with advice on how you can keep from becoming a statistic. Zach. Yeah, Mary, you know, this is a trend that's growing each and every year. The number of people forgetting to lock their car doors is becoming a major problem when it comes to stolen guns. A car ride back in time shows us more and more guns are stolen from unlocked cars in Jacksonville each year, a trend that's speeding in the wrong direction. New numbers from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office show in 2020 there were 522 incidents in which guns were stolen from unlocked cars. In 2019, there were 63 fewer reported incidents, which comes out to 459. In 2018, there were 407 logged events, a difference of 52. We've done these type of stories time and time and time again, and we oftentimes remind uh, gun owners that they've got to be more responsible and more conscious of where their, their, their weapons are at all times. And, and, and people just become careless. Ken Jefferson, our crime and safety expert, has a message for gun owners who leave their weapons in their cars. Well, you're endangering your community. The perpetrator is either going to do one of uh, two, two things. It's either going to use it for another crime or they're going to try to sell it. To keep not only themselves from falling victim to this crime, but also to keep their community safe. Any advice on what gun owners should do? What gun owners should not do is to store a weapon in a vehicle. Take it out. Worst place to store a weapon is in an automobile uh, because thieves, when they break in automobiles, they plunder through everything just to see what they can find. You don't necessarily have to have anything visible uh, laying on the seats or lying around in the car that they can see. I mean, that helps because it's a crime of opportunity. JSO had an initiative called the 9 p.m. routine. It was not just a reminder to lock your car door, but to remove anything of valuable from inside the car. Now, I reached out to JSO to see if they still are promoting this initiative. I have yet to hear back. As soon as we do, we, of course, will update you on air and online at newsforjax.com. Reporting live in Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.